Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am, and today we are going to be making our way to the Murkwater Catacombs. But before we do, I want to show everybody I did put my bow on along with some arrows and that is all I did I didn't do anything else just put the bow on put some arrows on and that's it let's go ahead and go into our map and mark some stuff we're gonna put a marker right here and then we're gonna put a marker right about here and then a marker in this encampment one more over here and then lastly if we come all the way over here past Stormgate we're gonna put a marker right there let's go ahead and hop on Torrent we're gonna go behind the Warmaster's shack and then we're going to head east to northeast About right here is where we're wanting to drop off. Yep, right here. Drop off. And then we can see a troll right down there. We're gonna go to we're going to go around him. And then we're going to hop on these runes. And then on the cliff's edge right here. Grab ourselves a smithing stone one get rid of this marker and then haul butt we're gonna hop down right here we're gonna have a bunch of wolves I'm not going to fight them if you want to feel free we're just gonna pick up the golden rune too and then ride into this encampment pull out our lone wolf ashes hop off torrent Take out that guy. Be careful, there is a Caden Raider behind us, or Warrior. Raider, Warrior, I'm not sure. I think they are called Raiders. Heal ourselves up real quick. Right here we get the Armor's Cookbook 1. Careful for the rider, which I was not. Let's go ahead and get rid of our wolves. And then we're going to ride to the fourth marker. We're going to go grab us a silver scarab. It's going to give us a new Ash of War. I like to aim for the horse. And the reason why is because the horse is going to die before the uh, raider or the, I don't know what to call him, Caden Raider or Warrior or whatever. Um, it's going to die before them and it'll knock them off and you'll be able to get a critical strike. Here's the Silver Scarab. This is going to give us Determination. Let's grab ourselves a Smithing Stone 1. Hop back on Torrent. And peace out of here. We're going to head northwest to north towards Stormgate. 
We're going to ride straight through that encampment. I'm not going to bother fighting anything over here or when we're running down the path of Stormgate. If you look up, you can see a troll. It's going to hop down. So we want to grab the lump of flesh, then grab the golden rune. And what I like to do is zigzag because the trolls have this wind attack that they spit at you and it'll knock you off torrent. So I kind of just zigzag side to side. Right here is another golden seed. And then if we head east, we're going to get ourselves some smithing stones, three to be precise. So real quick, we're going to mark a few things out. We're going to put a marker right here. And then we're going to put a marker right here. Another one right here. And then lastly, we're going to put one right there. So let's go to marker number one. The only thing you really have to be worried about right here is um, these caterpillar stone caterpillar things but it's the ones that are like a ball right here so see how that exploded you don't want to be next to them when they explode pretty easy to get away from them they're not really a threat I'm pretty sure the goats are more of a threat than these caterpillar dudes is there any more i know there's more runes golden runes that is ah yeah there's one more over here so get him to explode by the way the goats with the horns which i think are considered rams they will try to attack you but again they're not really a threat either Let's head over here to the second marker. We're going to have a ton of trolls over here. So we want to get the attention of, attention of only one troll. And I think what I'm going to do is get the attention of this troll right here. Just kind of right in front of him. We want him to break this statue. See how it's glowing? That glowing statue means that there's something in there. So get him to run over towards you. And he's going to break the statue. Grab ourselves some smithing stones. And then over here, grab a beast liver. Be careful for that wind attack. I was not careful. Zigzag and head west to northwest and we're back at the storm hill shack or not storm hill shack i'm sorry that's where we're heading we're at the war master shack we're still gonna head up here to a path head west to southwest grab ourselves some fire arrows and then we're gonna head northwest again just to come up this embankment. We have another troll. I would circle around him so you don't get his attention. Kind of give him a wide berth there. That way we don't have to deal with him. Get the strength not crystal tier. And then we're going to head to the fourth marker. Which is just up the way.
Let's go ahead and meet Roderica. Everyone's been grafted. Everyone who came with me. They crossed the sea for me. They fought for me. <laughs> Only to have their arms taken. Their legs taken. Even their heads taken. Taken and stuck to the spider. Did you know if you're grafted by the spider, you become a chrysalid? It's quite a lark when you think about it. You're all on your own, are you? And heading to Stormvale Castle. Enticed by the one in the white mask, I suppose. Oh, you've come to be one with the spider? Well, that makes us two peas in a pod. But I don't have your courage. It's scary, you know, having your arms cut off. Or legs. Or your head. I want to be like everyone else, but I'm just too scared. I'm nothing but a craven. Oh, I know. Can you take this little one along with you? The poor thing deserves someone braver than myself. And the spirits look rather fondly upon you. It'll be glad of your company, I think, the little un. It was a pleasure to see you. Oh. Can you pass on a message for me? If you see the little chrysalids in Stormvale Castle, tell them I love them. And that, despite my craven heart, I'm sure I'll be joining their club soon enough. I'm finally getting the hang of this whole pain thing, you know? Let's go ahead and leave Roderica, or Roderica be for a little bit she is gonna move eventually and we have not got to a certain area but i believe in the next video we will let's go ahead and light this grace we're gonna sit at it go to our flasks add a charge So our first marker is going to be right over here. Second marker is going to be right here. Third marker down here. And then our fourth marker. Uh, well, we don't really need to put a marker there, but we do need to put one here and then right here. Let's go ahead and hop on Torrent. We're gonna hug the cliff side here. Just keep following this path up. Well, it's not really a path, but just keep jumping up. So these jellyfish, the bluish, uh, purplish, whitish jellyfish are non-hostile. If they're red, they are hostile. Keep that in mind. We're about, about to meet some hostile jellyfish. Let's head over to the second marker, even though it's all bunched up in the other markers. What we want to do is jump over here, get ourselves some magic grease, beaten up on Torrent here, poor Torrent, grab ourselves the Godric Soldier Ashes, head southwest, drop down the cliff here, you won't die, you'll be alright, I don't think you'll even take any damage. And then we'll head over to marker three.
Go ahead and grab another Starlight Shard. Bunch of Erd Leaf Flower. Good stuff, good stuff. We're gonna hop up this rune. This right here is where we can get the crossed legs emote. We'll get back on Torrent, why not? Over here, we're gonna fight another Iron Golem. They're not hard. Pretty easy, knock them down. Come over here. Stab them in the chest. Call it a day. Hop back on Torrent and then over here is going to be our first ever jail. We're actually not going to fight this enemy just yet. It's actually a very difficult boss fight. Well, it's not really a boss fight, but it is a difficult fight. And for new players, I just don't want to send them into something so difficult right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here. We're gonna put a marker on. And we're gonna put a skull. That way we know like, okay, this is a boss or a hard enemy. We'll come back to it. We're not even gonna bother hopping on Torrent because our next destination is right here. We have another Caden warrior, raider, whatever. <laughs> Take him out, pretty easy. Be careful, there are some wolves. They might sneak up on you. Also, I'm not sure. I thought you could uh, farm up the Lord Sworn's Greatsword from this guy, but I haven't seen it drop. And that makes me wonder on the, I think it was the fifth episode where I said, oh, you can get that to drop from an enemy it may not i'll do some more testing to see if the lord sworn's great sword will drop from these enemies if not i'll let everybody know in the next episode so let's go ahead and get ourselves the arrow reach talisman and then go into our map and i'm going to fast travel to a geo lake north so i'll see everybody over there in just a second Let's go ahead and put a few markers down. I'm going to put one right there. And then we're going to come over here, put one down right here. Through here. Put one down right there. And then lastly, put one down right there. So over here is going to be the hardest section in this episode. So just be prepared. Just to get our bearings, over there is Stormgate. Down here is where we want to head. We're gonna go right past the bird's eye telescope and then veer off to the right, head down this embankment. These dragonflies, you do want to kill them if you can. And the reason why is because you can use the their heads for neutralizing bolluses. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're not going to kill that one. We'll kill another one. We'll leave that one be. Right here we have an item. Get some fire grease. Take these guys out right here. Guy's about to get back up. Just knock them back down. As long as you're hitting them before they get back up, you'll be all right.
Then there's two more over here with an archer off to the left. I like to run at them, hit R2. That seems to work fairly well. There's another dragonfly here. I don't know where it went. There it is. Once it stops, that's when you want to shoot your arrow. While it's zooming around, it's kind of hard to hit it. Oh my goodness. This thing is so obnoxious. There we go. So you want to get great dragonfly heads. So what I would do is I would just farm some when you can. Right here is not the best place to farm them, by the way. But I do want them out of the way. And the reason why is because we're about to get invaded by Narius. Bloody finger Narius. Show everybody a trick to know you're getting invaded. Hop on torrent. If you get off torrent, then you know that you got invaded. Let's go ahead and top off our health. The reason why is because this is a pretty hard invasion. He has bleed buildup. So when he's hitting you, you will constantly have bleed buildup. And he's also has an attack that will cause a lot of blood loss buildup. I like to come over here and mess with his AI because he'll have to hop up here and try to chase me and then I can get a few hits in so he'll hop up it'll also let me heal if it isn't there he is finger the end is nigh for you and your cess blood That was close, everybody. That was close. So he gives us this dagger that <laughs> I'm not even going to try to pronounce because I will just butcher the name. Pretty cool dagger if you're doing a bleed build or a dex build and you just want some bleed build up. Awesome dagger to start with. Let's go ahead and top off our health. Not that we really need to, but... It helps. That is a tough fight. As you can see, he did hit me with blood loss. And it took off a huge chunk of health. I had to actually use two flasks. Right here, let's pull out our torch. This is Murkwater Cave. And before we go any further, let's go ahead and craft ourselves some fire pots. We can craft up five and then we're also going to equip them. I don't know why I got out of my menu. And then we want to lure over this guy. Don't go past the bushes. You see the bushes, stay over on this side and I'll show you why in just a second. When you come over here, you can see some bells with a chain hook to them. If you walk through those, it's going to alert everybody in this cave and you're going to have to fight them all at once. And that is not ideal. So if you can help it, 
definitely be careful where you're stepping. Let's uh, back these guys up. The guy off in the back will throw a poison pot that will poison you immediately. Well, normally he does. That time he went for an attack. Let's go over to our fire pots. And if we aim just over here, we want to look up. Oh, too far up. There we go. We took out two guys at once. Then we only have this guy to take care of, which he had glowing eyes. So we ended up getting more runes for killing him. Grab ourselves some mushrooms. Not really the most important chest in the world, but if you're trying to make fire pots, then you'd want those. Let's go ahead and switch back to our crimson flask. Grab ourselves some cave moss. And right here, if everybody's familiar with the soul series, we're going to meet a familiar face. I'm not going to tell you who, but once we open this chest, you're going to hear a familiar voice. Well, well, well. Thought you'd just help yourself to a man's personal belongings, huh? You scheming little thief! The gods demand repentance! Cough up your coin! All of it! Wait, wait, please! I, I surrender! White flag and all! <sighs> Whew. Well, finally come round, have you? <laughs> I knew you would. You're a man of reason! Through and through. <laughs> <sighs> Well, what do you know? You're tarnished, like me. Now, now, how did I get that wrong? I took you for a demi-human or some such. <laughs> but an innocent mistake, I assure you. Well, water under the bridge. Now we're squared up. How about we play nice from now on? A true man of reason. Just what I like about you. I'm Patches. Patches the Untethered. Tarnished like you, only free-spirited. Nomadic, you might say. Only for now, those retired soldiers turned bandits. And oh, they're paying for my gruel. In exchange for my, well, showing them the ropes. But honestly, this looting racket is bloody terrifying. Frankly, I'm ready to wash my hands clean. Maybe set up a legitimate shop. So don't be a stranger. I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. <laughs> so that's Patches. And like I said, if you're familiar with the Soul series, you'll know who Patches is. We'll meet him later. Once again. And also, you can run through these bells now. Doesn't matter. Let's exit out of the cave and go talk to Yura. Here's Yura. Let's talk to him. Ah, we meet again. To have fought Nereus and lived. You must have seen your share of battle. I am Yura. As you might recall. Hunter of bloody fingers. Tarnished. Held in thrall by cessblood. Zealots. Who stalk their own. You stay the path. 
You are certain to face more of them. Just remember. No kinship with their elk remains. Their madness precludes it. Don't let your emotions stay your blade. Be on your way. Perhaps we will meet again. If fate permits. Let's put our sh or not our shield, our torch away. Call torrent. Guess we can't call him that close to Yura. Weird. Right here, we're gonna grab ourselves some poison bloom. Right here too, we're gonna be using the spirit spring after we go through the murk water catacombs. Get rid of that marker. We're going to light this grace. I'm going to sit at it just because my crimson flasks are running pretty low. Grab this summoning pool and activate it. Right here we have a gargoyle. And then off in the distance, we're gonna have another gargoyle. This is not a hard dungeon. You just have to be patient. Try not to get ahead of yourself there are quite a few ambushes grab some grave glove wart I don't think I missed any we have two gargoyles at the end of the path here want to get their attention they're gonna to run towards us you can step on this trap Use the trap to your advantage. Just be careful not to get hit yourself. There you go. And then we have another one just off to the left here. Grab ourselves some root resin. Pull this lever. Right here, be very careful. We have another pressure plate. What I like to do is get the attention of one, get them to come over here, take them out, get the attention of another one. me huh and then run past this pressure plate crouch and then the guy won't see you or the gargoyle not, I don't know if it's guy the gargoyle won't see you and you can kill it get a backstab easy peasy lemon squeezy let's go ahead and put our lone wolf ashes on as soon as we come through this fog wall we're gonna summon them in the grave warden is not hard fun fact this guy used to drop one of his hammers back when the game first dropped but they patched it out actually really enjoyed that hammer. I had a build all around it, my strength build. I had a lot of fun with that build too. It's unfortunate. So we get the Banished Knight, Ingvil. 
this is our first really good summon. This is considered, I guess, like a legendary summon or a special summon. Or Spirit Ash. I guess it's not really a summon. We, unfortunately, do not have enough mind to uh, summon him in. Be careful for the pr pressure plate again. We're going to run back. Take our torch off. And then we're going to call out Torrent. Go over to the spirit spring here and then we want to face west use the spirit spring jump up on this cliff side you've probably seen the grace already as we were jumping we're gonna come over here get off torrent light the grace and end the video And I think we'll end it right about here. Yeah, that, that looks good. I want to start by telling everybody, thank you so very much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. It means the world to me. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.